The Australian Medical Association has told Sky News Western Australia is living in wonderland and is keeping its border closed for political reasons. The state's opposition leader is calling for more to be done to bring people back to WA for Christmas. It's the only state refusing to open its border for the Christmas holidays. Western Australia reiterating its position at Friday's National Cabinet meeting. By Christmas of this year, uh, certainly seven out of the eight states and territories will be open. Families and friends have been separated by WA's border closure for most of the year and at this stage there's no reunion in sight. The state's opposition leader Lisa Harvey believes the Premier should show more compassion. This is starting to have a significant mental health impact on a number of Western Australian families. Uh, we've got a lot of West Aussies stranded overseas, we've got FIFO workers who've been separated now for seven months. You know, Dads who haven't held their children or their partners for seven months. But Ms Harvey refuses to commit to opening the border if the Liberal Party was in power. So we don't have the full advice that can inform us uh, as to why these decisions are being made. But we're in the dark. You know, we've just been told the hard border's the only way, the Premier has all the information, the Premier has all the control and no other options are being considered. The Australian Medical Association fears the decision to keep the borders closed is political and warns the policy leaves WA vulnerable to an outbreak if cases emerge. They're sort of in a situation where they're living in a bit of a, a wonderland and, and politically it's very difficult, I think, for the Premier to move forward and I think for political reasons he's, he's holding the line. Mark McGowan insists decisions are being made on health advice, which is being reviewed regularly. In the meantime, West Australians living in other parts of the country will have to wait and prepare for a virtual Christmas with loved ones. Gabriella Power, Sky News.